Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. There is a look at Spacely getting geared up for this search and destroy. We're heading over to Solar and look for this man to be the key bomb carrier for Justice. On the other end, though, you have a very hot hook. The man could not be stopped in the first hard point. How many kills can he drop here on one of his favorite maps? I mean, the guy's extremely, extremely dominant. I'm looking. This place surprised a lot of people, though. Kenny. I think Justice can take this. I really do. We, we kind of highlighted Kenny before. I think he's a fantastic young talent and one that we need to keep our eyes out for. The solo Search and Destroy. I'm not counting Justice out just yet. That first game, very, very close. Denial obviously do take it with a big, big clutch towards the end. Is it Envoy or is it it? How, how do we pronounce it? I know, I know that's something we were talking about. Have you figured it out yet, Chris? I'll leave it to Twitter. Leave it to Twitter. A lot of people yeah. uh, chime in, but... In my American class, it's all about the Envoy, Ben. Envoy? Nah, I'm sticking with Envoy. Sounds better. It's MVS, Envoy. Same first three letters. Shout out to Big Beard out in the crowd. People getting fired up here as everyone's waking up in New Orleans, shaking off that hangover, getting ready to party with some Call of Duty. We got Hook on your screen, sniper in hand, Ooh. and it's time to party. Hook actually uh, just whiffed his first shot. He's going to be going up against Kenny in the sniper fight. Kenny using Cold Blooded. So I think Hook may decide to just kind of back away from that one. He doesn't have Cold Blooded himself. He's going to spot him again. And yep, well, I don't know why he challenged that. Just as I switched off a man, Hook is going to be able. That, that was that was a very very over ambitious challenge there. You know, you go up against someone with Cold Blooded. Right. If he moves, he knows exactly where you are. He has that extra kind of second play. Like Kenny's going to snap onto you with that sniper rifle. Hook spotted him, just unable to hit the shot. Great reaction time, being featured there by Kenny and. We talked about Kenny kind of coming into this series. Definitely a player to look out for in the search and destroys. You're going to see Assault pick up Temp Slasher about to be challenged by two players. And look at this flank. It's going to be a big push coming in. Envoy with one. Able to take down Slasher. Classic last man standing. It's only a matter of time. Classic gets one inside, but he will be eliminated at the top of the stairs. Nice round on defense by Justice. And it all started with that first snipe from Kenny. Yeah, as soon as he got that, it kind of opened up the map. And you see them just get very aggressive. Big flank comes in from Envoy. He was also able to pick up a kill. Everyone on Justice actually won to know. Oh, sorry. Uh, everyone picked up a kill. Only, I believe, that was Assault actually died that round. Uh, classic trying to close that one before, but it's always a very difficult situation when you pin yourself in to that kind of small boiler room. Didn't really expect him to, to be able to finish that one out. Want to see Kenny with a sniper rifle off the break. I assume he's going to go for pretty much the same thing we saw Hoot go for. Let's see if he can kind of pick it off. Nope, fires and misses. But I do expect to see that sniper battle kind of continue for the rest of the game. And we'll go back over to Kenny. He spots classic. Interestingly, Hook has actually now brought out Cold Blooded Classic Design. I noticed that as well. It's like no thermal. We'll see. Will they switch up to the variable scope as this game goes on? Slasher does take out Envoy. Oh, the hit marker. Another nice. rough shot here for Kenny. Unable to finish. The pressure is coming in. Sniper up close. Not going to be as effective as he wants it to be. Great oh, long range Hook. shots from Spacely. Hook takes down him. Uh, assault though. Oh, Spacely could be in some trouble. In fact, there's a second. There's more plays going to be around, and he's going to recognize that. Tries to pre fight. Can he find the third? Ace. Yes, he can. Fourth running at him. <laughs> that would have been just a barrier. It was like kind of proofy at X Games reminiscent there. He just kept on firing, and players kept on jumping into his bullets. But unfortunately, was not able to pick up that final kill. You see Hook, no nonsense, just kind of runs at him. That's his third kill in a row. Hook currently sitting at 3 and 1. Yeah, nice finish there by Hook. Three kills that round, and we'll switch it up. Denial back on the attack. They failed a slow push to B on their first round. Hook was running the sniper this time. Looks like he's going back to the ASM-1. Aggressive push right away. They want to get in the face of Justice, not allow those snipers to go to work. Yep, love this strategy coming in from Denial. Not afraid to change things up, and that may actually catch Justice off guard. Curious to see, I'm going to check on my screen, if Kenny has managed to change his class. In actual fact, he, has, he still has that sniper rifle out, and he has to hit a shot. Actually. Just missed several. Finally does connect with the sniper rifle, but he will fall. That leaves a one versus one. It's going to be Temp versus Envoy. And Temp, of course, on to now needs to plant this bomb. The attacking side, 57 seconds left. Time is ticking. And it seems as if for Temp, he's just trying to bait out a little bit here, see if he can get Envoy to come to him. Of course, Denial on your left here, Justice on your right. Envoy just trying to get the angle, but this bomb's still not planted. Temp has lots of time to work with. 40 seconds still to go. Only takes about five to get it down. You're going to see him make his way all the way across over to A. 
I'm trying to be so aware of his surroundings, trying to make as little noise as possible. But he could just get probably the worst card timing of his entire Call of Duty career. He does, and he falls. <laughs> Nicely played there from Envoy in that 1v1. Circled the map, made sure to cover as many angles as he possibly could. And then for him, there was only one space temp could be, and that was planning the bomb. Brad shot sealing the deal. Here to round number three, Justice, you saw Spacely fired up. Yeah. 10 a.m., the boy's ready to go. Oh, yeah, he he was here in the venue before uh, pretty much everyone. It was, it was empty, he came up to me, he's like, hey, where are we playing? Where are we playing? I want to get warmed up. I want to I want to get ready. I know we're playing against the now. Where am I playing? Where am I playing? I was like, you're probably on main stage, Spacely. Calm down, calm down. He's like, I want to play. He was very, very excited and very lively. Uh, Temp drawing first blood, though, in this round. Temp getting a little revenge right off the break. Takes out Assault. Basically, also out of the action. It's going to be up to Envoy, working with Kenny here. And the two on three, Temp, Slasher, and Hook still alive for Denial. And you can see the rotation going down. Denial's just hunting. And that Sniper waiting in the far back. There's the angle, spotting his face, but unable to connect. Kenny so close with his first shot, second one a little bit too south. And the problem that that's going to lead to is the fact that now Denial, no, Kenny has that Sniper rifle. And Push him. Yeah, just, just running him. And, and Denial always, always, always played search and destroy so intelligently when they have a man advantage. They literally turn into the wolf pack they are. They team up, they circle the map, they make sure, you know, get as much intel as possible. Do we have bomb down? We do. Where is bomb down? Let's make sure we set up in angles where we can cover the bomb. Let's try and bait each other out a little bit. And that round works out very nicely for them. They level it up two rounds apiece. There's a look at Kenny playing with his hood always up. And honestly, I want to watch Kenny off the break. As I say it, he switches from that sniper over to the ASM-1. But I was going to show you Kenny without COD vision, because the man just has sick reaction time. You saw just the head poking out from behind the truck, and he almost took the face in the previous round. Hoop, though, on your screen, getting involved early on. Slasher will clean up Assault. Nades going out. Classic's able to take down Spacely, and it's all of a sudden a two-on-one. Last man standing, Envoy about to get shut down. Nice swarm once again from Denial. And you want to see now Justice kind of adapt to that strategy from Denial. That's the second time they've done it where they've just been super aggressive, pushed straight through the bomb site, and, and kind of caught them slacking a little bit there. And you, you saw a little bit uh, with um, with Kenny putting the sniper rifle away, trying to be aggressive, but you need to counter it a little bit more because uh, who immediately just gets himself into a gunfight, gets immediate control of the map, and then the, the trades kind of come through, and Denial just outpick him. I love it. All smiles is Slasher. He's on a four streak, five and three, leading the squad so far up to this point in the game. Justice going hard B. Look Envoy's at the defensive looking, play, though. And everyone went A. They're going to go for a wrap. Now crossing through the middle. First engagement going down, and it's going to be won by Denial once again, taking a look at the flank. Oh, stung the Lord. So right smart that. is Kenny, but he's unable to punish, and he is going to be cleaned up. This is another round going to Denial. And unless we see some huge plays from Assault and Space, we're not going to happen. Denial starting to run away with this and game. And honestly, the, the key play that round was actually Slasher at the very back of the map. He was the only player that went kind of to that left-hand side. His, all of his other teammates wrapped all the way around the side of the map. Slasher actually won the first gunfight, yep. then got double stunned and managed to escape with his life, then challenged once again, managed to pick up the second kill of the round. He's on a five streak as well. Honestly, that was all Slasher. A fantastic play, brought his teammates so much time to wrap, and then Justice are basically just trapped. There's no way they can go. I think Slasher's really enjoying playing next to that guy, Classic. The new addition, of course, replays. He looks happy when he's playing. For all of AW until this event was removed in place of Classic, and Slasher and Classic just smiling after every single kill. They're joking around, kind of having their way with Justice now. Two down already. You're going to see it's going to be just Assault left alive, playing underneath the formal tag, and Assault is in between four players. It, it started off so well for Justice. You thought maybe they could do this, but they are crumbling to the Wolf Pack. It's just they're playing with so much confidence. Everything they're doing is working. The strategies they're implementing, everything's going to plan. And you can see Classic, just what he brings to the team. I feel like we, we always kind of mention, and especially this year more, more than ever, how Classic is, we don't give him enough love. Like, it, we don't really highlight how much of a good player he is, but the good vibes he brings to the team as well, you can see just all smiles, everyone kind of joking around. Of course, you look at the Justice boys, a uh, little bit of different mood in that booth. Yeah, they're trying to figure out something. 
what is going to work for them because their aggressive push got shut down the last two attacking times and now you're going to see Assault spotting Slasher right away. Of course, his team has also been called out. Kills are traded. Denial winning this trade. Three kills already by Denial. Last man standing is Assault and that's the game. Denial making a statement here on Soar after a close first two rounds. It was all Denial finishing strong. Slasher with your round ending kill cam. Beautiful play from him. He ended the game on a seven kill streak. He goes eight and three. A fantastic individual effort from him. Six and two, the overall score from the Search and Destroy. And as you said, to now cruise to a 2 0 lead in the series. And that was the crucial game for me for Justice. They needed to win that Search and Destroy if they were going to make this series interesting. Now I think it's going to be Denial just kind of cruising through the rest of this game. From here, we're going to see Uplink Detroit. Hard point drift if it gets to a game four and if it goes the distance. Search and destroy Skyrise, and really, I think that is one of the best game types Justice could hope for. But they got to win the next two. Uplink coming up next when we return.